I love to make and it's something that I haven't made on the channel for a while are cakesicles. So in this week's video tutorial I'm showing you how to make these really cute woodland fox cakesicle designs. Now I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you do don't forget to give it a like and if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Fun and YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. So the things that we're gonna need in order to make our fox cakesicles is first of all, I've got my mini ice cream mold. So this is just a silicone mold. Each of the spaces measures four centimeters by seven centimeters. I've then got some mini lolly sticks. So you could use wooden ones or you can also get acrylic ones in different colors. So these are just some white ones by Sweet Stamp. I've then got some of the white PME candy melts. Now these ones have a slight yellow tinge to them. You can also get bright white ones which are a lot whiter. Now if you didn't want to use candy melts you could also use white chocolate. I just like the fact that with candy melts you don't have to temper them first as you do with chocolate. I've then got some vanilla sponge cake which I've just crumbled down into my bowl. I've got a small amount of vanilla buttercream. I've then got some of the orange and black color meal. The color meal brand are oil based so these are great for using with chocolate or with candy melts. I've got a small amount of dusky pink edible tin, fine liner paintbrush and some different colors of fondant. I've also got a piping bag and just a flower mold to add a few little flowers onto our fox. You're also going to need some modeling tools, your craft knife and some edible glue. Okay so the first thing I want to do is melt down some of my candy melts. Now I'm only taking a small amount of these as this is going to be for the orange at the top of my fox's head. So I'm going to pop these in the microwave first of all for 30 seconds and then intervals of around 10 seconds until they've melted down. Now I always like to remove them from the microwave when there are still just a few of those buttons left. This means that you're not going to overheat your candy melts and I'm just going to stir those through until they've completely melted. I'm then going to take some of my color meal orange and just add that in to give me the color of my fox. Add this into a piping bag. So I'm just using a large glass just to hold that piping bag still. So I'm going to just chop the end which is going to give us an opening of around two to three millimeters. Okay so I'm going to start on my first Box. Now I want the top of his head to be orange, just coming over the top of his eyes and then down to meet his nose. So I'm going to start by coming down around a centimetre and just drawing a line and I'm going to come up the sides and I'm going to fill all of that in. I'm then going to draw a line down the front and where it meets the top I'm going to slightly curve this over so you can use tip of your piping bag. Now you can also go in with your paintbrush and just neaten up any areas just making sure that it's coming all the way onto the side of our mold and I'm going to do the same to the others. And there we have the start of our foxes. Now I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for around five minutes, just until those candy melts have fully hardened so that we can add the rest of our color. I'm gonna melt down some more of my white candy melts. Now for each cakesicle, I'm gonna be using around a tablespoon of the melted mixture. So I've got around 60 grams of my candy buttons here. Once that's all melted, I'm then just gonna leave that for around a minute just so it cools down slightly so that when we add it to the candy melt that we've already added into our mold, it's not gonna melt it. So I'm not looking for it to set, I'm just looking for it to cool slightly. I've then taken my mold, I can take a tablespoon of my mixture and I'm just gonna smooth it all the way over my mold. So I'm just using the back of a spoon or you can use the paintbrush that we used before. Just leaving enough of a gap to add in some cake mixture. Now before that's set I'm going to take my lolly stick and just push it through the hole just clearing away that candy melt. 
and I'm gonna pop this in the fridge until all of that has set. Now to go in my cakesicles, you may have seen me make this before, whether you've seen some more of my cakesicles or my cake heart videos. So I've got some vanilla sponge cake and I've just crumbled this up. You can also use cupcakes, but these are great if you've got any off cuts of cake left over. Now to this, I'm just gonna add a small amount of buttercream and you wanna mix it up until all of that cake starts to cling together. Now there are so many things that you could add. You could also add ganache or you could add Nutella, just something that's gonna allow that cake to cling together. I'm then gonna take my mold out of the fridge and the first thing I'm gonna do is just use my offset spatula, just running that over the top, just to clean up those edges. Now the Wilton candy melts that I'm using are quite thick so I have got quite a thick layer around the edge but if you do find that yours is quite thin you could go in with another layer of your candy melts just up the sides. I'm then going to pull the sticks out of the way so just pull them back slightly just to give me enough room to add that cake mixture. You wanna leave a gap at the top, just so we can add some more candy melts over the top, just to seal that back in. Now, each of the cakesicles are gonna need around 15 to 20 grams of mixture. So you can work out, depending on how many you want to make, how much cake you're gonna need. I'm then gonna push those sticks in a little bit further. I can then take some more of my melted candy melts and I'm just gonna place some across the back. And using my offset spatula, push this into any of the gaps and just smooth this down. I'm then gonna pop this back in the fridge just for that candy melt on the back to firm up. Once they've come out of the fridge, I'm then gonna remove them from the mold. And you can take a knife and just run this around that bottom edge just to neaten those up. Okay, so we're gonna add on the detail and I'm gonna start with some black fondant. So I'm gonna take a really tiny ball. Now you can use some more of your melted candy melts or just grab some edible glue. I'm gonna pop a small amount on the bottom of that orange area. Now for the eyes, I'm also gonna use some of that black fondant and I wanna create two little wings. So it's gonna look like my fox's eyes are closed. Now you could paint these on, but I'm just taking that ball of black fondant and just tapering it down into a point. I'm then gonna add some edible glue just onto the side where that eye is gonna go. So about half a centimeter down from the top of the orange part. And then place this on. And for now, I'm just gonna do this straight. And I'm gonna come along about seven millimeters and just cut it at an angle. Now, to give this shape, it's easier to do it with my paintbrush. So in the middle, I'm just gonna raise this up. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I've then got some dusky pink edible tin. And this one is just by Sugar Flare dabbing some on where the cheeks would go. And now for some little ears. So I've got two small balls of orange fondant and I've colored this to match the color of my candy melts. Now these measure around half a centimeter across and I'm gonna taper these down on one side before flattening that down, just squidging that into a triangle shape. I've then got this modeling tool with a point on the end or if you've got one with a cone and I'm gonna push that into my ear and using a craft knife, I'm gonna cut across the bottom so it's nice and straight. I'm then gonna do the same to the other one. Add a small amount of edible glue onto the top. And you can use your dressing tool just on the edges just to connect that with the top of your cakesicle. Now I'm gonna take my brush that still had some of that pink on there and just add this inside his ears. I'm then gonna add some flowers before adding in a fluffy tail. Now, you could make these flowers by hand. I've actually got this rose mold. So I'm gonna start with a fluffy brush with a small amount of corn flour and just dust that inside my mold. I've then got three different colors. I've got a light pink, a dark pink, and this one was white that I've added a small amount of ivory just to match the color of my fox. So I'm gonna take a very small ball and just push that into my mold. Now, if you do have any of that fondant coming over the top, just take your craft knife and run this over, just taking off any excess. I can then carefully tip these out, just pushing on the back. 
I've then got a little bit of green fondant, so I'm going to take really small balls and just taper these down before using my dresden tool to add a line up the centre and just pinch that bottom to give me a little mini leaf shape. So I'm going to make a few of those. And you can add as many flowers or leaves as you like, or if you just wanted to keep the fox quite plain. Now again, just fixing these to the top of the head with some edible glue. So for the tail, I've got a ball of my orange fondant and this one measures around two centimeters across and a very small ball of my ivory and this one is around five millimeters. So I'm gonna start with the larger ball and taper this down on both ends. So we've got two points and this quite bulbous area in the middle. I'm then gonna take my ball and using that pointy cone tool, just push that inside, push that onto one of the ends, just making sure that that's fixed on. I can then use my dressing tool and I'm gonna run some lines from the top all the way down. Now I'm gonna add some edible glue just onto the side, coming from the stick, just around the corner. I'm gonna tuck this in before wrapping the rest of my tail around. I can then go in with my dressing tool, just add in more lines so it looks like fur. So there we have our cute little fox. Now you could either leave it like this or just finish off that stick with a little bow. So here we have these finished cute little fox cakesicles. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will be able to use it to make your own cakesicles. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Fun and YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Now I will put links in the description below to some more Casical videos in case you want to check those out. I've got unicorns and penguins and narwhals, so there's so many fun designs. I'll also put a list of all the tools that I've used throughout today's video. So until next time, bye!